Wednesday, the 14th of August, 2024, of the 19th week in Ordinary Time, is the memorial of St. Maximilian Kolbe, priest and martyr. Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is my hope and my only comfort to fly to you in all tribulation, to confide in you, to call on you from my inmost heart, and patiently to expect your consolation. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, make me an instrument of your healing love and peace. Give me wisdom and courage to bring your healing love and saving truth to those in need of healing and restoration. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Saint Maximilian Kolbe Maximilian, a Polish Franciscan friar, founded the Militia of the Immaculata, an international evangelical movement promoting consecration to Mary Immaculate. In February 1941, he was arrested by the Gestapo and sent to Auschwitz, where he covertly continued his priestly ministry, praying, consoling, hearing confessions. When a young father cried out in agony as he was sentenced to the starvation bunker, Maximilian offered to take his place. He died by lethal injection after surviving for two weeks. Auschwitz survivor Jerzy Bilecki called Maximilian's self-offering a shock filled with hope, bringing new life and strength. It was like a powerful shaft of light in the darkness of the camp. Pope John Paul II canonized Maximilian as a martyr of charity in 1982. The Epistle Mark a vow on the foreheads of those who moan and groan over all the abominations in Jerusalem. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 9, verse 1. The Lord cried loud for me to hear, Come, you scourges of the city. With that I saw six men coming from the direction of the upper gate which faces the north, each with a destroying weapon in his hand. In their midst was a man dressed in linen, with a writer's case at his waist. They entered and stood beside the bronze altar. Then he called to the man dressed in linen with the writer's case at his waist, saying to him, Pass through the city, through Jerusalem, and mark a thou on the foreheads of those who moan and groan over all the abominations that are practiced within it. To the others I heard the Lord say, Pass through the city after him and strike. Do not look on them with pity, nor show any mercy. Old men, youths, and maidens, women and children, wipe them out. But do not touch any marked with the thou. Begin at my sanctuary. So they began with the men, the elders, who were in front of the temple. Defile the temple, he said to them, and fill the courts with the slain. Then go out 
and strike in the city. Then the glory of the Lord left the threshold of the temple and rested upon the cherubim. These lifted their wings, and I saw them rise from the earth, the wheels rising along with them. They stood at the entrance of the eastern gate of the Lord's house, and the glory of the God of Israel was up above them. Then the cherubim lifted their wings, and the wheels went along with them, while up above them was the glory of the God of Israel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 113 Responsorial Verse The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel If your brother listens to you, you have won him over. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 18, verse 15. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, Amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation. The glory of the Lord left the threshold of the temple. Ezekiel chapter 10 verse 18 Today's first reading contains a graphic vision of God's judgment on His people. Because they had disobeyed His commands and followed the customs of the nations around them, 
Jerusalem would be destroyed and they would be exiled. Most dreadful of all, the glory of God, His own presence that had accompanied them since the Exodus, departed from the temple. Ezekiel chapter 10 verse 18 It looked as if the story of God's chosen people was about to come to an end. But their story was not over. Ezekiel promised that a small remnant of faithful Jews would be spared and that God would begin something new. Ezekiel chapter 11 verse 19 Later, the prophet had a vision of God returning and his glory filling a new rebuilt temple. Ezekiel chapter 43 verse 1 God would not only bring his people back as he had done in the Exodus, he would give them a new heart in his own spirit so that they could walk in my statutes, observe my ordinances, and keep them. Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 26 This second vision was ultimately fulfilled when Jesus entered the temple in the arms of his parents. Luke chapter 2 verse 22 God once more visited his people and revealed his glory. Only a few recognized him then, or when he began performing mighty deeds, or at his transfiguration, or when he was glorified on the cross. But those who did were amazed at these glimpses of his glory. Jesus continues to fulfill his promise today. He reveals his glory whenever two or three are gathered together in his name. Matthew chapter 18 verse 20 In so many ways, he shows us that he is with his people always until the end of the age. Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 What a wonderful promise! You are living in the age of the church when Jesus dwells in the midst of his people. He is reaching out to you through his church, in the sacraments, in the kindness of a friend after Mass, in the prayers of God's people. You are a member of the family of Christ. Jesus welcomes you, and your brothers and sisters pray for you. Rejoice today and be open to his loving presence. Lord, thank you for the gift of your glory present in your church and in the world. Help me to see you wherever I go. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. 
click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.